After the initial excitement and relief following their arrival and a round of tests at this hospital, the six former inmates of the US Guantanamo camp are starting their new lives. This is Uruguay, their new home, an escape in so many ways from the 12-year-long nightmare they've left behind. They're being shielded from public view for now in a house supplied by Uruguayan trade unionists. If they're in a friendly place, just like we'd give to a Uruguayan worker. They won't be given privileges just because they're in this situation. They'll live the same as we do with the minimum comforts of any worker. They're learning Spanish and about Uruguayan customs, talking to their families who they hope to be reunited with in the next few weeks, and making tentative plans for their future. It's a mark perhaps of the solidarity being shown by Uruguayan society that this trade union organisation is housing the six men from Guantanamo, working with the government, human rights organisations and the lawyers to smooth the process of starting a new life, a long way from Guantanamo, a long way from their homes in the Middle East. Susana Mangana worked with Syrian refugees who arrived in Uruguay in October a personal initiative of President Jose Mojica. There is a feeling within the society that uh, they don't know how to uh, judge these Guantanamo men. The Syrian refugees and especially the kids were one issue. These are a different story. And this is what I think the people in the society are more worried about. Like, are they dangerous, aren't they? What are they thinking about? Will they stay within our society and our system, our traditions? Or will they want to go back to Syria or perhaps live in Brazil? You know? The normally effusive President Mujica, who brought the men here, Sorry. Is it okay? Okay. and their lawyers, who initially spoke so enthusiastically, have stopped talking. They say to respect the privacy of the men. Meanwhile, the six prepare for Uruguay, and Uruguay prepares for them. Daniel Schweimler, Al Jazeera, Montevideo.